Sally Walker was a great man. A big man. A fat man. <laughs> but he was also a kind man. A family man. A surprisingly good dancer. <laughs> Karen, it's Grace. Grace Adler. <laughs> You gave me this number in case of emergencies, remember? Oh, yeah. Right, right, good. Yeah, I want you to have it. Stanley, have Butler change all the phone numbers on the second floor. <laughs> so what's going on, honey? I have to be mean and I need an expert. <laughs> well, I'm flattered. What can I do you for? Stan, that had better be soap on a rope. <laughs> Thanksgiving, Mr. Walker. I brought you a turkey. And uh, if you look inside, I hid a little surprise in there for you. A chicken. <laughs> What's that, hun? You miss the kids? OK, here they are. <laughs> Walker. I can't have sex with Stan if I can see him. How am I supposed to have a conjugal watching that conjigal? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, honey. See you back at the manse. I'm in the nude for love. Scuba dee boo salami. Gets his way. <laughs> you mean tonight isn't Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh, crap. Now I have to spend all day tomorrow watching Stan gorge himself on thighs and breasts and turkey. <laughs> Thousands of children in the third world who rely on the 11 cents an hour my husband pays them. <laughs> Do you really want that on your conscience? Huh? Do you? Damn it, Stanley, not in front of the hill. <laughs> oh, hello, Stan. It's good to see you again. Looking fantastic. I, uh, whoops, that's still you. <laughs> okay. I uh, did not see you there. And, oh, and there's more. Okay. <laughs> It has been two years, and so much has happened in your life. I, my mind is just reeling with questions. Like, um, have you seen my new talk show? <laughs> and can you tell my tan is fake on the air? Guys, I'm really sick. Oh, weeknights, 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, give it a little look-see and let me know if I'm too orange. Anyway, Karen and I got in a really big fight. I tried to convince her to get back together with you again, and now she doesn't want to see either of us. Brought your harmonica. Oh, no, thank you. I don't feel like. Don't know why there's no sun in the sky. Jack, you and I need to. Oh, I'm sorry. In the middle of a number, I can come back. You know, there is something I've been putting off for a long time, and I've avoided it because, well, frankly, it scares me a little. I'm supposed to have a conjugal visit with Stan. <laughs> You know what? We should do all of these things. Oh, come on, honey. That's easy for you to say. All you got to do is run a lousy marathon. Stan weighs 5,000 pounds. It's 26 miles just circling him. Take me to the salon. I want to get cornrows and change my name to Mo Derrick. I can't, honey. I'm meeting Stanley. We have a standing lunch once a month, so I remember what he looks like in the daylight. <laughs> Rosie, how you doing? Quit blabbering. It's only an expression. <laughs> Go what myself? Well, if I could do that, I wouldn't need Mr. Walker, now would I? <laughs> Speaking of which, put him on. Well, where the hell is he? We had a lunch date. Well, he never cancels. Did he leave me a number where I could reach him? Oh. Honey, brace yourself. Stan's having an affair. <laughs> 
no, I won't believe it. It's impossible. He's so fat. Grace caught him red-handed. He was by himself? Oh, I should have known. Lately, he's been wearing his good toupee and his fancy compression garment. Come on, let's go. I'm going to catch that rotund Romeo in the act. Shouldn't you lock up? Somebody might steal something. Oh, my God, honey, you're right. That's terrible. Where's he going? He's going into that whorehouse. <gasps> That's not a whorehouse. That's Burger King. <laughs> Going straight to the window. What? what did he call the order in? No, no, they know his car. When they see him coming, they grab five whoppers, a couple of pies, throw them through the window, and try not to get their fingers near his mouth. Uh, -uh not this time. Looks like they're handing him a a, a salad. Well, that's all the proof I need. First, he gets his toes in shape. Now he's eating sensibly. My God, has the man no shame? Karen, what are you doing? Oh, just a sec. Stanley Walker is a dirty pig and I hope he runs in hell! <laughs> I'm good, how are you guys? <laughs> Problem with Stan? town with that new British slut of his. Yet last week they had dinner at the mayor's mansion. Mm -hmm. Apparently she spent the entire night sitting on his lap feeding him steaks. <laughs> Here's a nice T-bone for you, love. Hope you save room for a bucket of potatoes. <laughs> oh, I regret the day I ever laid boobs on that man. <laughs> Don't you love our Roro? Let's tickle her. Doug Pollard, Rosie. <laughs> I have to finish this sweater for Mr. Stan so you can take it to him tomorrow when you visit him. Oh, I'm not going tomorrow. But he's expecting you at 10. Yeah? Well, I've got other plans. I'll be in the observatory watching Woody Allen get it on with his daughter wife. <laughs> How can you be so heartless? Mr. Stan, he suffers in prison. You haven't been to visit him in weeks. Oh, please. The only one who suffers is the guy in the bunk underneath his, waking up every morning with a mouthful of mattress. <laughs> well, well. You just move right in, don't you? I guess the guy I paid to hussy-proof this place missed a few spots. <laughs> well, you must be the old Mrs. Walker. And you were married to Stan as well, weren't you? <laughs> What's that smell? Stan's favorite perfume, dab of roast beef behind each knocker. <laughs> Lamb chops work too, but I'm not here to discuss beauty tips. <laughs> I will not lower my voice. You're my husband. Who the hell else am I gonna yell at? <laughs> yeah, I know what I saw, Stan. You were looking at her. Oh, or maybe you were looking at, I don't know, a lamp and her ass just got in the way. Um, Karen, maybe I, I should... Sit. I'm sitting. What? No, 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 no. No more from you, Stan. You're done. I said that'll do, you unibrowed freak! God, I am so sick of Stan. Karen, maybe you should talk to your shrink about this. My shrink? Honey, I only go to him for refills. <laughs> Maybe you just need a night away from Stan. Well, the nights are definitely worse. His new thing is garlic pills. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is perfect for you. It's your color, it's your size, and it's only $28. Hmm? Yeah. That's a great price. Uh, would you just excuse me for one second, Grace? Stan! Uh, hi, honey, it's me. Yes, I'm at Designer Markdowns in Paramus. Uh-huh. Oh, the budget thing's fine. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just about to buy a rhinestone studded track suit. I thought I'd wear it when we go boating with the Bronfmans. <laughs> okay, okay, bye bye. Stan sending the helicopter. <laughs> Budget crisis over. <laughs> Okay, Grace, buy yourself a little ugly for work tomorrow. I'll be on the roof. Jack, I didn't come here to threaten you into blessing my relationship with Karen. Even though I could revoke your passport, put your name on a watch list, and have your cable cut off right before the Tonys for the rest of your life. I came here to see Stanley. Hello, Stan. I'm sure you've heard all about Karen and I. Karen and me, I stand corrected. I always get that wrong. You know, um, I always mix up was and were. <laughs> yeah, I have to sing If I Were a Rich Man to get it right. <laughs> or as it was. Er, that is so hard for I. <laughs> Stanley, I know that this is all um, a little. Whoops, yeah, just, uh, I know that this more. is all. Oh, honey, listen, I've got some bad news. I can't marry you. I'm in love with someone else. <laughs> but, Karen, I was straight before I met you. <laughs> she give you what I give you? You mean companionship, vitality, a sneaky drop shot? No, no, he's a doughy thing with squat little legs and a bad case of recurring psoriasis, but I love him. And with my help, oh, who am I kidding? I just love him. Who knows why? I love Stanley Walker. He was a wonderful husband, a loving father, respected businessman. His absence will leave a huge void in our lives that cannot possibly be filled. All right, enough with the fat jokes. <laughs>